Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be here. My name is Pegeen and I work with leaders and women leaders in business. I'm excited because today I want to talk to you about something so critically important for you and for your success. Not only your success, but your sense of confidence, your sense of security, the sense of that you just are in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And the way that looks like is by creating a, a strategy for your network. You know, the most important thing that I can tell you from my own personal experience is who do you hang out with? Who do you know? And who knows you? Who do you know that's going to make a difference? Who makes you feel good? Who makes you ponder and think and grow and change and challenge? Well, that is who you want around you. And that's why we have to talk about you creating a strategy for your network. This is so important, but it always begins with you about why, why? You know, I grew up in a neighborhood that uh, some of the people were not the kind of people that most of you would want to hang out with. I hung out with those people and I can tell you who you hang out with really in influences how you think, how you succeed and how you grow. When I decided that I wanted a different network and I wanted to change my network, well, things started to happen big time. And I think it's really important for you to know that you have that power, that ability and that championship moment to say, yes, I'm surrounding myself with people who get my desire to succeed, who get my desire to want to go to the next level, who get my desire to be happier, healthier, more strategic and more prosperous. And I think when you start thinking about that, you can begin to do something very specifically, which is defining your goals and your objectives. And here's something that I just read about a network. And I think it's important for you to think about it for yourself. So a rich network should offer you insights, resources, connections, and who have shared values and a track record of success in their industry. I love this definition because it is who you surround yourself with. I mean, there's been that constant, you know, look at the, the, the top five people that you spend the most time with, and that reflects your own financial success, your own physical success. And everything is influenced and infected by who you hang out with, who you want to be around. So a rich network really is something that you want to grow and massage and understand. You want to make sure that they can offer you the kinds of insights, question your, your thoughts, make push you to another level that you can call them and say, help me out. Do you have anything that can help me with this particular issue? And they give you resources and they're willing to open doors for you. They're willing to connect you one person to another. And when you have that connection, wow, it makes such a huge difference. But you also need to decide the kind of people. So what are their values and what is their success in industry? Because it's easy to get caught up with the wrong crowd. It's easy to sacrifice your own values to fit in. You have to be strong and determined to change the values. So what does so your strategy manage, ma really matters. And why does your strategy matter? Because you're able to gain that kind of network. You're able to gain the insights and learn from others, like I said before. But it's a very clear strategy. So here are the three key strategies that you need to implement to build that kind of network. And it's um, the network of, for instance, one, clearly defining your goals and objectives. Now, here's three things that I want you to be able to know about this, defining your goals and objectives. You need a business, a business network, somebody that knows your industry, people that are influencers in industry, people that can give you some guidance. Number two, you need people who are ahead of you in your career, ahead of you, and they could be in different industries, but they can give you some behind the scenes insights and wisdom that will help you grow. Three, they have to be fun. They have to make you laugh. They have to be just relaxed and 
able to have the kind of conversations that will help you grow and see. Those are really three key things. So people in your industry, people who are in other states of business that are a little bit different than you and people that make you laugh and enjoy and grow. It's critically important that we we, we do this. Hey, need, uh, need, I'm glad that you're here. And hi, LinkedIn loser. Yeah, LinkedIn user. I you, We are both on fire. I'm glad that you're here. So here's the second thing that I wanted to um, let you know about, and that's this. Really identify the key players and influences or people who you hold in high esteem and who you like. So you can have people that you hold in esteem that you don't like so much. You want to have people that you like because you're going to be investing a lot of time and energy and knowledge to connect with them. So there, I was talking to somebody this morning and they, we were talking about building networks. We were talking about this. And one of the things that this person said, which I think was really, really important in terms of evaluating who are the people you want to play with? If you're reaching out to someone and you're asking, so how are you? What are you up to? And you're interested, but they don't ask you, how are you? What are you doing? That might not be a good person for your network because that person is going to be totally focused on themselves, not focused on you. So you want to be able to identify key players and influencer people who hold in high esteem, who Understand the give and take. How are you? What's going on in your life? Blah, blah, blah. Tell me about yourself. How is going in your life? There's got to be a give and take that enables you to get the kind of information that will make you feel connected to them. But you make sure that you're reaching very high, very middle, and even people that are in other industries, in other community um, endeavors and social endeavors there are, it's important for you to have diversity in your people. That's the other thing. If you look around the people, do they all look like you? Well, that's a challenge because the world is changing. You want to expand, you want to grow, you want to lead. And in order to do that, you have to have a network that is built on a lot of different kinds of insight and information. But remember, key, please remember, if you don't like them, if they don't ask about you, if they are not the kind of uh, people that you feel good around, move on. And when I say good around, I mean that if you get some negative vibes, move on. And then the third part is to really foster genuine relationships by having mutual respect and trust. I was talking this with this just a few seconds ago. You really have to like them and you have to be likable. And that means that you have to smile. You have to be interested. You have to really understand that we're part of this together. We're not separate. They need you as much as you need them. People need each other to grow and learn no matter how high they are. They need to be aware of what else is going on. So when I was working with one of my uh, companies and corporations, one of the things that was really, really interesting was I had um, three of the most senior level of a major global corporation come up and share to uh, a group that was there to accelerate their careers, to make a huge impact. And they were senior level women, six, uh, 60 of them. What these three leaders shared was fascinating. And I think it's really important for you to take home because when we talk about networking, you need to know this. One of the things they said was keep in touch with us. Call us now that we've met. Let us know, but have clarity about why you want to connect with us. So maybe you want some insight from us to grow. Maybe you want some insights to grow yourself and that you're looking to connect with me because I have something that that can help you or that you like the way I talk or that you like the way that I communicate. What they said was reach out to me because it makes them feel good that they've inspired you. But you have to have clearly defined goals and objectives. It can't just be you only have a short time to talk to them. So you want to make sure that you're really precise. Again, you they shared know your key players and influencers. 
build your network, participate in different groups, find the key players that really you like and that build in, in high esteem that you want to connect with. And then foster genuine relationships. Hey, smile, be somebody that people like to be around, be interested in them and notice if they're interested in you. That will make a great relationship. My name is Pegeen. I'm so glad that I'm here. We had talked to you really fast, but I want to make sure. And thank you so much, Evie. Um, I love that I have wonderful women in my network, Michelle Villalobos, Cindy, and Gina Carr, because they're generous givers, and I see them as manifesting prosperity in their lives. Absolutely, positively correct. Those are the kind of people that you always want to be around and know and really make a difference um, in your in your life in your career, in your prosperity, in your self-esteem, in your confidence. Dang, when you hang around people that make you feel good, you are like, you will blossom, you grow, you transform. And that is one powerful statement. So make sure that you have great networks. Glad that you're all here. Take care. And here we go with the song. Be focused, be fearless, have fun.